Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we would like to welcome all of you again to join us in the making of the Stations of the Cross of the Cathedral of the Good Shepherd, the Mother Church of the Archdiocese of Singapore. God bless you. The Stations of the Cross In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you said, If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross every day and follow me. In a spirit of humility and penance, we want to walk with you on the road to Calvary. We are in need of forgiveness. We want to understand better your love for us. The way of the cross is the way of life. The cross must be carried today if we want to witness to your love. Help us to live your gospel, to live it to the end, unto the folly of the cross. Amen. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was the day of preparation, about the sixth hour. Here is your king, said Pilate to the Jews. But they shouted, Away with him, away with him. Crucify him. Pilate said, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king except Caesar. So Pilate handed him over to them to be crucified. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, judge of the living and the dead, you accepted to be the judge and condemned by sinful men. We bring to you the suffering of many innocent people who are undergoing unjust accusations and punishment. We ask you to forgive us when we commit injustice. Amen. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. 
He was wounded for our rebellion, crushed because of our guilt. The punishment reconciling us fell on him, and we have been healed by his bruises. We had all gone astray like sheep, each taking his own way, and the Lord brought the acts of rebellions of all of us to bear on him. Ill-treated and afflicted, he never opened his mouth. Like a lamb led to the slaughterhouse, like a sheep dumb before its shearers, he never opened his mouth. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you have borne our infirmities and carried our sorrows. We bring to you the sufferings of people in this world. Forgive us when we make others suffer. Grant us the grace to accept cheerfully the difficulties that come our way and to be ready to take up our cross every day and follow you. Amen. Send us, Lord, the cross that you bear. This the burden we all should share. Sing us all days of death. The third station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed our world. He emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, becoming as human beings are, and being in every way like a human being, he was humbler yet, even to accepting death, death on a cross. And for this, God raised him high and gave him the name which is above all other names. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Almighty God, you were crushed under the weight of the cross. We bring to you the sufferings of the sick and the oppressed. We ask you to forgive us when we indulge in luxury or become materialistic in our way of life. Amen. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed our world. Simeon said to Mary, his mother, Look, he is destined for the fall and the rise of many in Israel, destined to be a sign that is opposed and a sword will pierce your own soul too, so that the secret thoughts of many may be laid bare. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, your mother was with you on the way to Calvary, having a share in your sufferings. She is for us today an example of strength and fidelity. May we imitate her and follow you in happiness as well as in sorrow. 
She is our mother, always by our side. Amen. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus to carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As they were leading him away, they seized the man, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country and made him shoulder the cross and carry it behind Jesus. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you needed the help of a man on the way to Calvary. We bring to you the crosses of those who are lonely and those rejected by society. Forgive us when we refuse to talk to people and keep too much to ourselves. Free us from selfishness and pride. Amen. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. He had no form or charm to attract us, no beauty to win our hearts. He was despised, the lowest of men, a man of sorrows, familiar with suffering, one from whom, as it were, we averted our gaze, despised, from whom we had no regard. Yet ours were the suffering he was bearing, ours the sorrow he was carrying, while we thought of him as someone being punished and struck with affliction by God. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, merciful God, you accepted the kindness shown to you by Veronica. We offer you the sacrifices and generosity of those who bring relief to orphans, to the elderly, to sick people and prisoners. Forgive us when we ignore our neighbours in need. Help us to be kind and compassionate. Amen. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Many bulls have surrounded me. Fierce bulls close me in. Against me they open wide their jaws, like lions rending and roaring. Like water I am poured out, 
Disjointed are all my bones. Many dogs have surrounded me. A band of the wicked beset me. They tear holes in my hands and feet and lay me in the dust of death. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, creator of heaven and earth, you accepted to experience the depth of human weakness. We bring to you the sufferings of all the exploited people who live in conditions unworthy of the children of God. We ask you to forgive us when we fail to recognize in those around us the children of the same Father. Amen. Jesus, as we sing you for day, we can hear your Spirit calling, urging us to pass The Eighth Station Jesus consoles the woman of Jerusalem we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A large crowd of people followed him, and women too, who mourned and lamented for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep rather for yourselves, and for your children. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Saviour of all men, free us from blindness of mind and heart. Have pity on us when we reject your love or ignore your mercy. Help us to acknowledge our sins. Make us aware of the harm we do and the good we fail to do. Amen. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My people, what have I done to you? How have I offended you? Answer me. I led you out of Egypt, from slavery to freedom, but you led your Saviour to the cross. For forty years I bore you up with manna in the desert, but you struck me down and scourged me. What more could I have done for you? Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Good Shepherd, sent to the lost sheep, you accepted to fall a third time that we may always rise from our sins. We bring to you the sufferings of those who have fallen in guilt. Free them from despair and grant them the gift of repentance. All of us are in need of your pardon. Increase our hope in times of trials. Amen. The 
10th station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When the soldiers finished crucifying Jesus, they took his clothing and divided it into four shares, one for each soldier. His undergarment was seamless, woven in one piece from neck to hem. So they said to one another, Instead of tearing it, let us throw dice to decide who is to have it. In this way, the words of Scripture were fulfilled. They divided my garments among them and cast lots for my clothes. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, glory to the Father, you were mocked by the crowds. We offer you the sufferings of those who have been robbed of their dignity and those exploited for the sake of pleasure. Forgive us for any misbehaviour or any excess in life. Do not allow us to be a cause of scandal for others. Amen. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Carrying his own cross, he went out to the place of the skull, or it is called in Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him with two others one on either side, Jesus being in the middle. Pilate wrote out a notice and had it fixed to the cross. It ran, Jesus the Nazarene, King of the Jews. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, condemned to die as a slave, you were nailed to the cross. We bring to you the sufferings of the bedridden who have abandoned all hope of recovery. Have mercy on all who suffer because of their crimes and misdeeds. Give strength to those who are tortured in their mind and body. Be with us when we are under pressure. Amen. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, saying, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. With these words he breathed his last. When the centurion saw what had taken place, he gave rise to God and said, Truly, this was an upright man. And when all the crowds who had gathered for the spectacle saw what had happened, they went home beating their breasts. All his friends stood at a distance, 
so also did the women who had accompanied him from Galilee and seen all this happen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, you died on the cross that we may have life. Together with you, we put all our lives in the hands of our loving Father. Change the hearts of those who do not care about salvation. Grant that our life and death be always a joyful acceptance of your will. Amen. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. All you that pass this way, look and see. Is any sorrow like the sorrow afflicted on me? My eyes have filled with weeping. My whole being is troubled, and my strength is poured out upon the earth as I behold the cruel death of your Son. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, at the end of your life, you were placed in the arms of your mother. You have given her to us as our mother, placing us together with you in her arms. May she help us to understand the depth of your love, especially when we recall your passion and death. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Amen. The fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Joseph of Arimathea took the body, wrapped it in a clean shroud, and put it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out of the rock. He then rolled a large stone across the entrance of the tomb and went away. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, light of the world, through your death and resurrection, you offer to all people the gift of an unending life of love. Death is a passage towards the resurrection. Free us from fear and anxiety. Help us to see in each event of our daily life an occasion to love more and to prepare ourselves for the life in heaven. Let us die to ourselves in order to live with you. Amen.
Christ is risen. Since you have been raised up to be with Christ, you must look for the things that are above where Christ is, sitting at God's right hand. Let your thoughts be on things above, not on the things that are on the earth, because you have died, and now the life you have is hidden with Christ in God. But when Christ is revealed, He is your life. You too will be revealed with Him in glory. Lord, we know that all is not over yet. We are on our way, and the journey will only be completed when we reach the end. Help us to remain faithful to you always and to recognize you in other people on earth so that we may all reach you in glory beyond death. Amen. Let us now pray one Our Father, one Hail Mary, and one glory be for the Pope's intentions. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may He defend you from all evil and bring you to eternal life. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God Rest in peace. Amen.